Hi, my name is Pete Larson, and I play this instrument called the Nyatiti from East Africa, specifically from Kenya. Today we're going to be talking about the Nyatiti. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the way the instrument works, the type of music it does, and then some extra background. Thank you very much. This instrument in my hand is called the Nyatiti. It's from Kenya in East Africa, and specifically from the Siaya region of, of Western Kenya in what's known as, as Luo land. Um, it's an eight-stringed instrument. Um, and a stringed instrument, like most stringed instruments, has strings, obviously, has a resonator, and has a frame that holds it all together. And you play it like this. The way the strings are tuned, um, there's all different kinds of ways of tuning this instrument. Um, it depends on the person playing, but traditionally the way it's tuned is either to an E major or E minor pentatonic. There are five notes, obviously, since it's a pentatonic. And what we have in the middle here is we have this fat note here, the string, this high guy, and these are both E, an octave. We have a D down here, we have the third, G or G sharp, A, and B. But some people tune it this way or that way, some people tune it to E, some people tune it to F, some people tune it to F sharp. There's all different ways of tuning it, depending on what, what someone wants. But in general, this is how it's tuned. Um, the way you play it is you use right hand, left hand, like I've got, and you just alternate, and you do these cyclical rhythmic patterns. So you use the thumb and your middle finger, and I'm not giving you the bird, this is just the finger you use, and you pluck the strings, like that. You can either do single, single notes, like I'm doing here, or you can do chords. It's an incredibly versatile instrument. The way the instrument is constructed, uh, it's made of a wood bowl, a carved wood bowl. Uh, this is not a calabash or a gourd like a lot of other instruments out of, out of Western Africa, like for example the kora, which is a giant gourd. This is actually a tree carved out in the shape of a bowl to be the resonator. It's got uh, cow skin hide top. The strings are made of nylon fishing line. Um, traditionally they were made out of cow gut, cow tendons, um, but they, the cow tendons became uh, un, unwieldy because they go bad quickly. And when nylon fishing line came in, uh, just about every NITT play, uh, player in Kenya all switched to nylon strings because it's much easier to deal with. This is a grass um, that grows in marshes and then there's nylon string holding it in and it's all held together with a wood frame. In, in, in the world, there's probably only about 25 Netiti players left. And, and out of that 25 or so people, uh, approximately five or six or seven of them are, are over, the, over the age of 70, and some of them are over the age of 80. This includes my teacher, Odor Nugueno. I have to give him credit because everything I'm telling you here um, comes from him. All the songs I know how to play come from him, um, and I'm, in, I'm internally grateful to him. Um, but outside of that, there's, there's, there's several people, William Omondi, um, Nyamungu, several other people out there. In addition to that, there's a younger generation of Natiti players who's coming up, which includes people in, in their 20s and 30s um, who have picked up the instrument and, and are doing wonderful things with it. These include people who, people who are from the CIA region and also people who are not. People who are not from CIA and also not Luos and are doing new things with this in Nairobi. Um, there's two Natiti players in the world that I can think of that are, are not even Kenyan, um, and that includes myself and Anyango. Nyarasiaya from, from Japan. Um, and she is probably the most successful Nyatiti player in the world right now. She studied in, in Siaya and now plays professionally in Japan. Playing the Nyatiti uh, is 
like playing any other instrument, um, you have songs and riffs and you play them and you sing along to them. But the music of the Natiti um, is basically a rhythmic bass over which people tell stories, they sing praises, they, 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 will, they will praise you know, their, their, their great elders. Like for example, my teacher, I would, I would praise him in a song, my teacher, and thank him for teaching me. You know, or they might praise people in the village, politicians, you know, or they might praise the person buying the drinks that night. Because Nyatiti, in an essence, is a busking instrument. People show up with the instrument to funerals, weddings, whatever, drinking places, and start playing music, and they play for tips. And when the people give the tips, they tend to put the money in here, inside here, um, because it's usually dark. And if you put the money on the floor, then people might run off with it, and that's no good, so they put it in here. Um, sometimes people play sitting down, like I am right now, but traditionally, um, people have sat on the ground, and, and you can see a picture here of somebody sitting on the ground playing Nyatiti. So I'm going to play a song for you on the Nyatiti to demonstrate how it's played, um, and, and I hope you enjoy it. And at the end of the video, um, please don't, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Um, please like the video if you can, and, and certainly, certainly send out links and, and, and tell your friends about, about what we're doing here. Thank you very much. Thank you.